So the project today is going to be a five color print using our high solids rubber ink. The high solids, it's a, a water-based system, high opaque, good stretch, and it's going to fill the need in the market for a PVC-free ink. These inks work on a wide variety of substrates, including cotton, polycotton blends, and 100% polyester. PVC-free inks work very well with high-stretch fabrics like spandex and lycra and print through a wide variety of screen mesh. In this project, we will be using an underprint through a 110 mesh. All of our other colors will be through a 156 and 230 mesh. This project uses triple durometer squeegees, the 709070 and the 609060. These work well for most high solids ink printing. Use a water resistant emulsion to cover the registration marks on the screen and then post expose. Another option is to use water resistant blockout or a standard clear nail polish. We begin mixing the inks for our project by first finding our formula from the online color mixing calculator on the Rutland website. First, select your base coat. Next, enter your PMS color code, color name, or color description. Press go and select from your results. Next, select your display units from the drop-down menu. Enter the quantity that you want to mix and then press the calculate mix button your mix will display for you to easily mix a perfect color. We're mixing 600 grams for this project. We always mix from the largest amount to the smallest amount of ink. I always go largest to smallest, that way you don't have something with 2% on the very bottom stuck to the bottom of your pail. You have your largest amount in there, then you can build on top of that. Always use an accurate scale that is routinely calibrated and remember to zero your scale between adding inks. Remember to close the lids on your inks so they won't dry out. Once the inks are mixed, we will do a small drawdown. Cure our sample to 320 degrees and then match the ink to the PMS colors prior to moving into full production. To set up the printing process, we insert the screen, the flood bar, and the squeegee at a 15 to 20 degree angle. The ink is then added to the screen. If you need to leave your screen for an extended period of time, be sure to clean the image area and spray water on the ink to keep it from drying out. This ink cannot be left in the screens overnight. If you're printing in dry environments, use a mist of water to keep your inks wet. We'll first print the white underbase, flash it, print the next three colors, flash again, then print the remaining two colors for the five color print. Our white underbase is printing through a 110 mesh screen, 1 8 inch off contact, with a 70 90 70 triple durometer squeegee under medium pressure at medium speed. The high solids inks produce a nice bright white with an ultra smooth print finish and good mat down qualities for the shirt fabric. We'll be using a standard quartz flash unit to dry the white ink to the touch. The next three colors are printed wet on wet using a 156 mesh screen with a 709070 triple durometer squeegee to leave a minimum deposit of ink. We're flashing three colors on top of the white underbase with an infrared flash panel with an airflow that works well for drying water-based inks. Our next color is the magenta, printed through a 156 mesh screen with a 709070 triple durometer squeegee. The final green color is halftone image printed through a 230 mesh screen with a 709070 triple durometer squeegee. Cure the print at 320 degrees. This is the cured print of our high solids rubber ink. See, it has a look similar to Plastisol, only much smoother with, with better fiber mat down. It's got excellent stretch and very bright colors. To recap our project, our high solids ink is a water-based system with high opacity, great stretch, and will fill the market for a versatile PVC-free ink. These inks work great on cotton, polycotton blends, 100% polyester, spandex, and lycra. 
Use our online color mixing system on the Rutland website for precise ink mixing. Remember to zero your scale between adding each ink. Do a small drawdown, cure it at 320 degrees, and then match the ink to your PMS colors prior to going into production. Use a 70-90-70 durometer squeegee set at a 15 to 20 degree angle with medium pressure and medium speed. Mist your inks with water to keep the inks wet and set your dryer to cure the print at 320 degrees.